Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. So in today's video, we're going to get into some of my current beauty products for the skin. For those of you guys who don't know, I like to put things on my skin that make them moisturizing and glowy, if that makes sense. So for a really long time, I was into... I'm not even gonna say it was a moisturizer, especially for the face. Your girl was using Vaseline on her skin. It worked well for me for years, okay? I mean, like, I've never had an issue with Vaseline. For some girls, they can't wear Vaseline. It will literally clog their pores and make them have acne. I never had that issue. If I would get, like, what we call a black folks a bump <laughs> it will um like i would just like leave it alone if it left a slight mark child i would put vaseline on my face and that mark would be completely gone don't know what it is it's like a protector but i know it's just not good for your skin but anyway in this video i wanted to share some of my current faves some are like recent recent and then the other ones you guys have probably seen but they are in rotation heavy for me so the first item is for my face and that would be this pre-cleanse by dermalogica listen i mentioned this in my facial video and the reason why it's a fave of mine is because it has like this liquidy texture I don't know if you guys can like even see it's very like liquidy or like not liquidy like oily and if you are a girl who likes to shave the little hairs off your face this is a really good item to use because it's cleansing your skin while you're able to like glide the actual shaver across your skin um it's just like a good barrier between your skin and the actual blade if you don't got this if you have not double cleansed your face before, definitely give it a try. And also, if you have like any mascara, like all up in here, girls, this will get it all out when you're rubbing. It's never caused any issues like for my under eyes or anything like that. If I am rubbing in this area, I am rubbing very, very light. And if I needed to go under here, I'm gonna use this finger. It doesn't add as much pressure to your under eye as opposed to your pointer finger so this dermalogica pre-cleanse is definitely one of my current faves and i'm probably never going to stop using it unless i come across something else that is cheaper but in the meantime between time your girl is going to be using this item but if you are interested in something like this safara does carry this item and i believe you can just go on their actual website and just get it but safara is more um, accessible than you know ordering something online unless you get it overnight but that is the first item the second item is my Peter Thomas Roth skin exfoliating cream or whatever you want to call it it's called a peel but it doesn't necessarily peel my skin when you rub it on it does give you um, like some crumbles right <laughs> but it's just from the product and sometimes i'll just let it sit there so the enzymes can sit on my skin for a while but it's not the cheapest it's not really big but you only need a really little bit if you're doing like a small um exfoliating treatment on your face it's a light exfoliating gel neutrogena does have one but i am gonna tell you i tried it out before and the next day it looked like i had like a heat rash on my face I think it was just too harsh and I'm gonna tell you why so I ended up using it again but I put my cream Neutrogena cleanser on first and then put like a little bit of it on and I was fine so it's just too rough for my actual skin so when you are doing cleanses and any face shoe stuff um, for your skin any exfoliating items really pay attention to your skin it may happen overnight or it may happen a couple of days later but try not to add too many products at once so you can wean out what the issue is the third item that is my current fave is the image md vitamin c serum oh gosh hold on it's like oh uh, here vitamin c serum now those of you girls are probably like oh you do fashion videos but i said beauty fashion and lifestyle okay this i've said it in my facial video along with something else this is an item that 
I slept on for a really long time, meaning I didn't know that I really needed a vitamin C serum. The one that I used to use by Intimus, Intim, what Intimus? I don't forgot because I stopped using it. Um, it's just because I always had to order it. Actually, all of the items that I had to order from that brand. Um, but hmm. the reason why this is a little bit different from most because it does have like a like a cloudy cloudy situation here. I don't even know if you guys can see that because it's not zooming in. Uh, and most of the other ones are like really clear in color. And it has kind of like a medicine smell a little bit. So it's their Restoring Power C Serum. Girls. It is like 110 or 12. I don't know, something like that. But it's worth it. You only need a little bit and like here in this area and just like spread it around but this is another current fave of mine um the other item i'm gonna tell that goes with that piece is the skin fix barrier y'all these two together i'm probably gonna say it over and over and over but that combination with that vitamin c serum and this and this is the largest one i didn't even realize i bought the largest one this right here it got the little top for you to press and then the little, uh, I don't even know if you guys can see, it's like a little tiny hole. So you won't pretty much overdo it when you're pulling out some. And it'll help you stretch your item, your product. Uh, but this is the Skin Fix, Skin Fix Barrier Triple Lipid Peptide Cream. <sighs> this is a current fave. I'm probably, so it's a few items over here, actually. All of these items for the face that I'm going to show you are items that I'm probably always going to buy. And I want to say these are kind of like staple products too. Meaning like it's not like a new product and it's going to be out next year or two years. But this is a great, great moisturizer. It's like I said, it is expensive. So you can definitely try the, um, what's the other one that I have? The Confidence in Cream. Well, that's still pricey too. But they're really good <laughs> but there's more check them out out there but definitely this is one of my current faves and the other item is going to be ugh, let me pull it i just got this i didn't even bring the other item in here because i didn't want to make the video too long it's the keels rare earth deep pore cleansing mask y'all already know can y'all see that it's this lens Ooh. I did a cleanse the other day and I showed you guys, I'll link the video, but girls, this is like magic. If you don't want to spend this much, you can definitely get the other one. The other clay mask is by Aztec. I think that's what it's called. Now it really does dry out your skin that one. So you have to put your moisturizer back. This one dries it out, but not as much as the other one. And the other one, you got to actually mix it up and make it yourself. But it is cheaper. If you guys want a video on that one, let me know. I can definitely do it. How to mix it up, what you need to put in it. Um, maybe I will do a video on that because it's, it's affordable. Um, and the jar is kind of like... Remember the old... Well, I guess I can't say old because they still carry them. Like perm perm containers for like just for not just for me like <laughs> I'm, I'm aging myself hold on <laughs> not just like this a perm thing how it comes in like that big or even like the cholesterol <laughs> that's so old too the cholesterol container it's kind of big like that so you can get a ton of use out of it but if you want me to do a video on that i will do it i can do a comparison between the two um, as far as like the dryness, it's probably going to take me a few because I can't do them within the same day. Uh, but if you want something more affordable as opposed to this, go for that. But if you want it already made, girls, go ahead and get you this kill. Let me see. This this other lens don't do what I needed to do. But anyway, yeah. And this, was, this is the 4.2 fluid ounce bottle. It's kind of, it's pretty much the same color as, um, the Aztec one. It's just already made for you. I mean, I'll do a video. I'll, I'll do a video for you guys. <laughs> um, so that's the stuff for the face. Uh, it's not a ton of stuff, but these products are not super cheap. 
but I absolutely love them. I'm not a person to try a ton of skin products, so you won't see a lot of it. So it'll be a lot of repeats or maybe from the same brand I'll try. But these are things that I've been using for a while now. The only thing that is new is the Deep Pore Cleansing by Kiehl's. It's new, but I tried it out before from a sample that I had and this is why I purchased it. So if you can get samples of these items, girl, get you some samples and try the item out, try the product out, get a couple, of packets a few packets and then see how your skin actually takes to the product but I'm gonna get into body and it's not many many things because I realized that I don't need a ton of things on my body so here we go so the first thing is going to be this body serum Le serum corps I can't I don't know if you can this does have hyaluronic acid in it child when you get it, it doesn't sound like there's anything in here, but this comes in like a little nozzle. This is a, a little nozzle like this. And it's not the cheapest. I'm gonna keep saying that because some people may say it's too much. Now, if you are a girl who loves to read ingredients and stuff, Chai, you could probably find this for like the low low with another product. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being honest but I like this a lot as soon as I get out of the shower still a little damp and I'll put this on on top of that little bit of water that's on my body for me I feel like the product takes a little bit better when your skin is actually damp and it's kind of like your your face right before I put any hyaluronic acid on my face I make sure that my, my face has a little bit of moisture on it um, so I do the same with my body so this is my fave and I didn't even bring the scrub in here because they didn't have any. So I might be looking at a new body scrub soon, guys. Um, and the last one is the, <laughs> y'all, it's almost gone. That's like my fourth bottle. This is the Kiehl's Creme de la Corps Lotion. Y'all, this, okay, it is expensive, however, this little ingredient, I think it's called squalene. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, but this is something about this lotion. Like, I don't notice it right away. If I have on like a skirt or something and I can see like the bottom half of my leg, when I tell you my skin be gleaming, it looks so moisturized and just so just like supple. And I equate that to this because prior to this, I was just using what was a oh just coconut oil you by itself and coconut oil you will give you the appearance of a shine but that thing gonna dry up on you it's like it's absorbing in your skin but you you still need something to lock in that moisture uh so i use this on top of that for the girls who don't want to spend this i still like nivea like old school nivea it's something about that lotion that's thick and luscious <laughs> actually i just saw makeup shayla do a it was TikTok, but she's always shiny so i'm like does she use this all the time and i know for sure somebody else uses this i can't think of the name but these are the products that are currently my faves and i'm not gonna stop using them i'm gonna purchase another one of these soon because when it gets to this bottom area like maybe a little bit further down child it's so hard to get the lotion out so let me tell you what I do, because this is expensive. I will cut this mug open and keep it covered to make sure that it stays moisturized and that I'm not like wasting any of my money. My laundry has stopped and you guys now hear the music. <laughs> but check this out and this is a this is a big bottle this is a one liter so and it lasts me for a really long time like I don't usually use a lot of it um usually at nighttime before I go to bed I use my coconut oil you and then put a little little bit of this on top if I'm using this by itself I do tend to use a little bit more but when I mix it with my coconut oil you I use less so those are the products that are my current faves and I swear by guys if you're interested in any of them I am gonna link them below so you guys can go ahead and just grab them um, I love them each item the only item that I had to order was the image MZ uh, because I, I couldn't find this in the store but everything else you can get from like Sephora 
um or Ulta. Ulta is so expensive. Y'all, I don't even want to talk about it. But thank you guys for tuning into this video. If you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY. And my personal style blog, Coco Styles NYC. And my style services, Coco Styles NY.com. And I'm on Tickety Tickety Talk. Coco Styles NYC, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Make sure you are getting good skincare products, guys. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. <laughs> Bye, guys.